uh, but uh, is it fair to say that uh, edge computing will replace cloud computing hello friends welcome to itk funday your own channel where we make it interesting for everyone and in this video we will understand about edge computing after cloud computing rocking the IT world for the last decade, now is the time when edge computing is picking up pace as we are seeing the advent of uh, IoT, Internet of Things and 5G network. So in this video, we will understand what is edge computing again with a real life example. We will understand why we need it and how exactly it works. So without further ado, let's get started. Thank you friends, if you're new to ITK Funday channel, we make IT interesting for everyone, be it IT or non-IT, we discuss all the latest tools and technologies, products, productivity hacks and career tips on this channel. So if you're new and if you like the content, do consider subscribing. Thank you. So let's take an example. Suppose this is a new startup named as ABC and this guy is the owner of this startup. Now to manage the financials of this particular startup, uh, he contacts a, a consultancy and accountancy firm XYZ. And over the course of uh, next uh, four or five years, uh, uh, this guy used to manage all the financial data within its company and then send it over on email or over phone. Uh, he used to take advice from this uh, consultancy or accountancy firm. And this accountancy used to maintain all the balance sheets, PLN uh, profit and loss statements, all those things for this particular startup. But in the span of five years, this startup grown into a big enterprise with thousands of employees and now the business model has become complex the financial information which is getting processed has become much more complex it has become it has grown into a complex model and now managing this financial health of this company is not possible with this remote uh, consultancy so what happens that this startup talks to this particular consultant company and asks that if we can have some dedicated service with us all the time because we need to take crucial business decisions day in and day out and we need someone to guide us as far as the financials are concerned so this particular head of the company deploys one chartered accountant full time in this firm and this particular person who's sitting here is his, his this ca's role is to guide the uh, ceo of the company in day to day uh, activities as far as the you know financial health of the company is uh, concerned or man managing the financial data is concerned or taking some crucial business decisions uh, are concerned this particular uh, chartered accountant helps in that so it has become very quick and fast and then the, uh, this particular chartered accountant also takes all the data and sends it back to the firm so that the firm manages the overall health of the company. So yeah, this is a layman example or a real life example of cloud computing. So if you see this as a system and see this as a cloud provider, so what used to happen is all the data and the processing used to go to the cloud and come back to the, you know, to that particular system. Now it was good for a while, but now as we are moving into real time data and IOT applications, this processing needs to be very quick. And that's where edge computing uh, is now coming into picture. So what we'll do, we'll now go and understand the architecture of edge computing and uh, we will now understand what edge it provides over cloud computing. So friends, now let's understand a high level architecture overview of edge computing. What you see on this board is uh, how edge computing is playing a pivotal role in ensuring that all the devices which are now processing IoT data, real time data, big data are actually connected to the main cloud data center via these uh, edge cloud computing uh, platforms. But even before we understand this, why we wanted uh, or why we need edge computing is there are two main factors. One is latency and second is processing. So if you have, if you, if you see sometimes when you are talking to your Alexa device, you might see some sort of a delay. It might be because it is going to your cloud uh, provider, getting the data from there and downloading it. So how we can reduce these kind of latencies because it is just a device, right? Where you want to uh, listen to your favorite song. But what about if you are driving us, uh, you know, a connected car or a self automated car and there's an obstacle which is coming uh, on the way of this car. And suppose this car is now talking to the cloud, uh, you know, the cloud provider or the cloud data center to give the instructions back what they should do because there's a wall in front and you're sitting back uh, on the back seat terrified. What should happen? Because uh, it's, uh, it, these kind of systems cannot afford these kind of delays because it can have a very severe impact. 
So that's why the edge computing came into picture and the driving force uh, for these edge computing technologies is the 5G network because now with the 5G network you have you know all the speed is becoming so fast that the data processing can be done very quickly and secondly IoT obviously. So basically we have three different players in edge computing. One first is your actually your cloud data center, second is your edge gateway server and third you see these uh, blue uh, logos on top of every system these are edge clients so what happens in edge computing is that there is a smart device or an edge client device which is installed on all these systems which records all the different kind of data which is being generated by these uh, different devices and then it processes that data it has some sort of intelligence built in within and it has some storage capacity as well and then it processes the data and then for uh, you know higher workloads it sends it to the nearby gateway server what is the difference between sending it here uh, versus sending it directly to the cloud is that your edge uh, gateway server would be physically located very near to your device so that reduces the latency and increases the processing power that's why all these gateway servers will be deployed physically closer to all these different systems. Now where we are seeing the trend of uh, edge computing coming into picture everywhere where we see today IoT uh, coming into picture IoT being used like uh, capturing the plant uh, data or you know transport intelligent railways agriculture suppose for example in agriculture there is a pesticide which uh, you know which is causing harm to the to the uh, crops and uh, there is uh, some some indication which has come in and this particular smart device need to stop some sort of a spray of these pesticide immediately power systems wherein you have all these devices being installed uh, locally uh, within you know these devices are getting locally installed and then this is sending data to your uh, nearby physically located gateway server similarly connected car very important uh, now more and more different car manufacturers are uh, installing smart devices within uh, your car uh, and uh, even for self-driving cars in future where you will be sitting uh, in your back seat these kind of technologies would play a prominent role. Smart appliances, um, all the appliances now you have some sort of a IoT uh, installed like your washing machine, your mobile phones, uh, your smart uh, devices like Alexa smart buildings now you have houses which are smart homes which we call it right so as soon as you enter the house the light would go on automatically all those kind of decisions will be enabled uh, through uh, this technology so these are some areas where we have uh, edge computing playing a, playing an important role or will play an important role in uh, coming times but there are other areas as well so what drives this whole edge computing is as i said huge data getting generated uh, advent of 5G uh, wireless technology and you have IoT technology coming into picture these has uh, you know these technologies have enabled uh, edge computing faster processing because now you need faster processes to take good decisions on time intelligence in hand so now you don't have to wait for your chartered accountant to you know give you something one week later when you have your chartered accountant sitting next to you as we understood in our previous example similarly your edge device is there right your edge intelligent device is sitting within you and you have your gateway server where you would have some few racks of servers you know enabling it is call it a small data center in its own sense which would be very close uh, sitting very closely uh, to your uh, appliance or to your device low latency again a very important factor uh, concerns on data security and privacy again this also is one of the things which are uh, helpful because while the data is being sent to and fro many times uh, over you know your cloud uh, there could be some hack some intrusion and there could be some data security breaches however one of the downsides or one of the disadvantages of using uh, edge computing is also security because what if someone goes and directly hacks into these systems directly where it is installed or maybe just get into your edge gateway server so i would say security is a 50 50 thing uh, we have something good about edge computing but there is a major concern around uh, security and privacy as well so yes 
uh, this is a, a high level overview of what is edge computing and how it is becoming so popular now you would see in next uh, 10 years or so we will have edge computing in pretty much every area which we uh, which we know today and where we are using cloud computing uh, but uh, is it fair to say that uh, edge computing will replace cloud computing uh, i don't think so it would never happen because cloud computing would always be that parent and edge computing would be a subsidiary of it uh, both would coexist both will enable faster cloud adoption as a whole so yes friend this brings us to the end of this video i hope you learned something new about edge computing today it is going to be one of the uh, prominent technologies uh, in in coming uh, years and yes if you learned something please hit the like button guys because if you click that like button uh, youtube actually helps uh, this video go to a wider audience i know you know it but i have to say this again because uh, th this helps the channel and this helps this video to go to a wider audience and yes please if you like this content if you want to uh, uh, get to know more about uh, the world of it in a simple way then obviously do su consider subscribing to my channel uh, it gifandi so until next time guys uh, please keep learning keep sharing all the knowledge and yes as always keep hustling bye for now